In this video, you will learn the process of fabrication of record blocks. A record block is composed of a temporary denture base and a wax rim. In this exercise, we'll be using light activated acrylic resin and modeling wax. First, secure the root wire C clasp using beeswax. Be careful not to drip wax on your fingers. Begin by drawing the outline of the temporary denture base. Palatally, the denture base covers the cingula of maxillary anterior teeth and the palatal surfaces of the posterior teeth. In the bounded saddle area, draw the denture base 2 mm away from the depth of the sulcus. In the free end saddle area, extend the denture base to the full depth of the sulcus. Adapt the light cured acrylic sheet on the cast starting from the center to the peripheries. Keep in mind that the base plate should fit accurately. Cut away excess material using a chrome carver. Cut at right angles to avoid forming sharp edges. Place the cast in the light chamber and set the device for 3 minutes. Flick off the beeswax now that the C-clasp is secured in acrylic. Remove the denture base gently from the cast to prepare for finishing and polishing procedures. If it's not fully cured at this stage, you may put it in the light chamber for an additional minute to cure it on the fitting surface. Use tungsten carbide acrylic finishing burr attached to a straight handpiece. Remove sharp edges on the peripheries of the denture base. Be careful not to reduce the height of the extension during finishing. Create a scalloped shape anteriorly to correspond with the shape of the cingula of the maxillary anterior teeth. Next, use sandpaper attached to a mandrel to polish the edges of the temporary denture base. Make sure that you reduce the speed of the straight hand piece to below 9000 rounds per minute. Now that the denture base is ready, it's time to form the wax rim. Cut adequate length of a sheet of modeling wax. Soften it over the Bunsen burner and roll it to form a block shape.
place the wax block over the edential span. The outline of the wax buckle should follow the contour of the buckle surface of the adjacent teeth. Occlusally, the height of the wax rim follows the level of the occlusal plane of the adjacent teeth. Use a wax knife to seal the wax to the denture base. 